Welcome to Retro Crisis. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my method of creating a 1G 1R ROM set. So what is a 1G 1R ROM set? So when you download a ROM set, sometimes you'll find there's actually multiple different variants of the same game. So a 1G 1R ROM set essentially helps you create a ROM set which only has one version of each game. So 1G 1R meaning one game, one ROM rather than one game, 10 ROMs. Before I continue this video, I strongly suggest you watch my ROM Center video. I'll leave the link in the description below. Please do support the channel by subscribing. And if you found this video useful, please do hit the like button. So the first step is to go to Datamatic's website. I'll leave the link in the description. Click on download, and then it's just a matter of finding uh, the DAT file for whichever ROM set you want to uh, create the 1G 1R for. So I'm gonna be working on the NES for now, so here it is here and you'll see two little save icons next to it so the one i want is not dat but it's the p slash c so download this and then you need to select whichever options you want to select i'm going to go with headless because that's the rom set i'm using and then go to prepare and then click on download so once the zip file is downloaded be sure to unzip it and put it wherever you want to put it next step is to open up rom center Great, so once you've opened up ROM Center, you'll see a window that looks like this. Click on new. So next step is to click on get data from, and what you wanna do is essentially choose the file that you just downloaded. So make sure it's the unzipped data file rather than the zip file itself. So I'll go here, and this is the file that came out of the zip file. Just go to open. And then the next step is save data as, and it's already created um, a database file. So I'll leave that as it is. And now this is the important section. Uh, you want to click on filter settings and then go to regions and click on regions and then make sure one game, one ROM is ticked. Now you're going to see all the regions that are available within that data file. Now, because everybody's 1G 1R ROM set is going to be different depending on which region you're from and what your preferences are, it's just a matter of dragging over the regions you want to keep. So for example, if I drag over US and then EU, uh, maybe I'll put world after US and EU. It's just a, a matter of, you know, picking your own preferences. And depending on which order you've selected the regions, those are the regions that will be prioritized with your 1G 1R ROM set. So for example, if there's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game that's also available in the US and Europe and Australia, it's only going to pick the US version and delete uh, the European and Australian versions. And for example, if there's a game that isn't available in the US, it'll just go down to the next uh, region. So if there's a world version, it'll pick that instead over whichever regions are beneath it. Now for this example in this video, I'm just going to pick uh, English speaking regions. I'm going to ignore everything else. Anything you don't pick, so for example, if there's Spanish or French, all those ROMs will just be excluded and deleted. So have a little play around, pick whichever regions work for you and let me know how you get on. And once you're happy with the regions you've picked, go to OK and then click on create and it just takes a little while to get the database ready and here it shows you all the games within the data file next thing you want to do is go to rom files here right click and go to add and then once you've clicked on add you need to select the folder where all your roms for this particular system are located so i've got my nes files on my desktop and i'll just go to select folder and then uh, you'll notice at the bottom some processing begins and it normally takes uh, a few minutes for this to complete. Even on a fast computer, it takes a little while. So once that's loaded, you'll see all of your ROMs appear in this list here. So just to explain it, anything with a green next to it is a ROM that's been accepted into your 1G 1R ROM set, and anything with a gray next to it will essentially be deleted. So if I go down to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so you can see here that most of them have been excluded from the 1G 1R ROM set that you're about to create. So in theory, you should only have four Ninja Turtle games selected because there are four on the NES. So we've got Ninja Turtles 1, 2, and 3, and then Tournament Fighters. Great, so if you're happy with uh, what you see and you're happy with the results, simply go up here and click on Fix, and then it'll start processing and removing any redundant files. So once that's finished processing, you'll see up here where it says Selected, we've gone down from about 3,600 to 1,200 ROMs now. Great, so now you can exit ROM Center. And if I go back to my NES folder, you'll also see there's about 1,200 ROMs there. So just to double check, if I go down to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, there we go, just four ROMs. And that is how you create a 1G 1R ROM set. Let me know if uh, you have any questions, and also let me know if you have an alternative uh, method 
on creating a 1G1 or ROM set. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do hit the like button and also please do support the channel by subscribing. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.